Hey there, it's Squirrel. Hey, I'm here with Susan. She's the owner and CEO of Glitter Buggy. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna interview her today. She has a very cool business. And please tell us about what you do. Well, we're a children's entertainment company. So we come in and we'll do birthday parties and we could do corporate and school and community events. And we come in and we do uh, face painting and balloon sculptures and um, cute little comedy magic show and we have carnival games and concessions like popcorn and cotton candy and so you like are a full menu of fun yep that yeah, is so you can just pick and choose what you would want or the space you have in your event some people have them in their homes some people rent places and so we go all over the Puget Sound area we go up to Everett as far as Everett and I've been out to Bangor and <laughs> Um, I get to go and travel and see, you know, all parts of our beautiful Northwest. So where did this all start? Just here in Bonnie Lake, I had a friend invite me to go to a clown college and or a clown convention. And I thought she was crazy, but um, I just was ready to get out of town. And so I went with her and fell in love with it and fell in love with the Caring Clown program up at Mary Bridge. So I, you do like a Caring Clown program where you go into the hospital. So tell us about that because that is so, just so So fun. It's my favorite day. And I go up to Mary Bridge. There's about eight clowns that go up there. And we go up on different days. And um, we go and see the kids sometimes up in intensive care. And we see um, kids that have all, sometimes you have to gown up because, you know, there's comfort you know, their system's compromised. And so you have to put on a gown and, and a mask. And it's like, okay, I hear it. All I can see is a little bit of my wig. Because you come in as Glitterbug. Yes, yes. She is the most cute clown you'll see while at the photo. <laughs> Glitterbug yeah. is adorable. Yeah, so fun. And very approachable, not scary. And not scary. No, and so go in and have fun with them. I pick their nose. I put a little foam nose on them. And um, it's just the best day. Sometimes it's a heart times mm -hmm. sometimes there's been times I've gone in a room and um, the dad is just just staring at the wall and and so I'm like well how you doing sometimes you're not there for the child you're there for the adult mm -hmm. and sometimes it's a hard time sometimes I have to go find an empty room and just mm -hmm. gain it because that's you're in a hospital but I still I love it so much and then you, from this it yeah, they, they were saying come to our party and and I wasn't that type of clown yet and so I went and did lots of other training and each year I would add another clown college. university this yes. is a grad, she's a graduate clown of college, college. Yeah. clown college yes in Wisconsin yes at and face painting university like you've done so to many international face and body art that was a lot of fun and um, good stories there but just to perfect you know and raise the bar and so i go to twist and shout which is really fun it's a twisting balloon convention and it's for um not only balloon twisting but also decor and you would not believe the things i mean they make huge iron men and they it just it's amazing what you can make out of balloons fire trucks out of balloons so yeah yeah wow. huge things out in the lobby of the of the convention center that's a really fun Thing to do. I mean, if it's if this is something you're interested, call me. I'll mm -hmm. talk you into it. And um, it's not hard. Anyone can make a balloon sword and a balloon ammo. I'm always teaching little kids. Mm -hmm. Do you want? Because there's some that are just really inquisitive. They want to. They want to know how to, how does this pump work? And so I teach them, and they're just feel really um, like they accomplish something. But you can teach yourself. You can. This is an old dog, and I learned some new tricks and. I love what I do. They say, do what you love, love what you do, and I do love it. And she brings joy to parties and events and children and hospitals so and amazingness. So you have to check out our website. And, and Susan, you've been in this community. What do you love about our community? All of it. I love, um, I love when there's a project or like a service project, you know, how many people come together and like for Beautify Bonnie Lake. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. They have National Night Out, which is, there, you know, the activities that David Wells puts together for Bonnie Lake. Mm -hmm. There's such a huge crowd. They have the um, music in the park. Mm -hmm. Just can't believe the crowds. And they did like a drone last year to show how big the mm -hmm. crowds were. And I love that. People walk to church. You see the policemen directing traffic mm -hmm. after church. And and uh, 
they're just they give back mm -hmm. yeah we have some great people that um, help with homelessness because it's an issue we have like the Lions for Kids house mm -hmm. lots of good things in our community we have good people and you are definitely one of them, Susan. Thank you. No, I love them. Thank you so I much. You. We appreciate you so much, like doing this interview and giving back to the children and the families and, and our community as a whole. And I'm mean, going to give you a hug. That's what it's about. We appreciate you so much. And thank you guys for watching. And, and definitely give Hi. Susan a call because she's amazing. Thank you.